Every spring, when my rhubarb is in season, I like to make a rhubarb upside down cake. And it is just one of the best cakes ever. This recipe calls for a nine inch in diameter, three inch deep cake pan, just like this. And uh, you should butter the pan sides and bottom. Now I don't know why, but softened butter works better for buttering a pan than melted butter. So now put the rhubarb in the bottom of the pan, which is really going to be the top of the cake when you invert it after it's baked. So you need four tablespoons of butter cut into quarter inch cubes. Should be in pieces just like that. And we want one pound of rhubarb cut on a sharp diagonal, about a quarter of an inch thick. Once you have one pound of rhubarb all cut up into these nice oblique pieces, um, sprinkle three quarters of a cup of sugar over the rhubarb. This gets the juices running and uh, softens the rhubarb just a little bit. So three quarters of a cup of sugar. Let that sit for a little while. You'll see what happens. And the topping is kind of fun. Notice. Look what I'm using. I'm using my iPad with my recipe on it. It is such a clear way of dealing with recipes. And now while the rhubarb is soaking with sugar, you need a half a cup of melted butter. This is for the crumb topping, which is really the crumb bottom. So here we have half a cup of butter, one stick, and uh, one cup of all-purpose flour. Now just to fluff up the Topping, I'm using a whisk and a half a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, and a half a cup of sugar. So mix that all up together with a whisk. And then you can pour in your butter. A really nice topping. And just stir until You've got a kind of a coarse crumb. So here is your crumb topping. The rhubarb, look, look what happens. See how moist it is? The sugar really does start the juices of the rhubarb running. Okay, and now your buttered pan, sprinkle with an additional four tablespoons of butter that you have cut up into cubes. What happens here is the rhubarb, the sugar, and the butter cook in the bottom of the pan and uh, kind of melt all together. That's what gives you this glistening, gorgeous top when you turn it out of the pan. Okay, now we can layer the rhubarb all over the bottom. So just keep arranging this till you use up the whole pound of rhubarb slices. And now it's time to make the cake batter itself, which is a very simple sour cream baking powder batter. Uh, we need one and a half cups of flour. Again, dip and level. Just dump it right into a strainer or I use a whisk to sift. And uh, we have baking powder, one and a half teaspoons. Now make sure your baking powder is fresh. One and a half teaspoons of salt and sift this through. There, very simple. And then in the bowl of a mixer, one stick of softened butter with one cup of sugar. You see how quickly it creams when you have the butter soft? It really makes a big difference. And two large eggs. From the chicken. Oh, and we need the zest of a fresh, bright lemon, but only one teaspoon for this cake. This really brightens up the batter. This is the greatest grater. It's really a wood rasp, but it collects the zest so nicely so that uh, you don't really have to use paper or anything. Just an amazing thing. There, that's one teaspoon. Just shake it off, no mess. 
And we also want the juice from this lemon, one tablespoon, which will be a little less than half a lemon. So and it's time to add the dry ingredients. You can use your rubber scraper and we're gonna be adding this along with one cup of sour cream, alternating. Turn it on low and take some of the sour cream and add that. There. All done. Mm. My downfall, batter. So there, now just smooth it out, taking care not to move the fruit around. And then strew your streusel crumbs all over the top. The melted butter in them really helps them adhere to the final cake and adds that extra little bit of crunch to the cake itself. It's a very nice three layer cake. Cake is ready for the oven. Put it in 350 degree preheated oven. Set your timer one hour. Should I show it to you? Yes. How beautiful. There is your lovely rhubarb upside down cake. Your family, your friends, your guests will love it.